If you are a rookie seller on eBay and you're trying to make money, here are the steps you need to follow right now. The first thing I want you to pay attention to is product research. See, everything starts from there. When we're talking about product research, we're not only talking about the product, the physical product itself. We're speaking about all the foundation that surrounds product research. For example, keyword research, very important. You need to have you, you need to have a clear idea of what kind of uh, what kinds of keywords you are going after, what kinds of keywords you are trying to rank for. Okay, so you need to know the best things to sell on eBay, but also making sure that those are keywords, those are products are available to you in terms of uh, competitiveness. Okay, and think about sourcing also. So when we talk about the keywords, we're also thinking about sourcing. You need to source the products. Okay, where can you buy those products at the low prices? and selling them at higher prices on eBay. Is it your local charity shop? Is it a, a, at a, a garage sale? So those are really things that you need to think about. Also think about seasonality. So the whole thing is when we speak about product research, you gotta think about elements of time, elements of geography, what is your uh, target audience located? You need to have a clear idea of what kind of uh, needs they, they have, what kind of wants they have. It's all about, it's not only about demographics, but also about uh, their uh, professions, their uh, social dynamics, what we call social dynamics. Where, where do they hang out at on social media? Those are really important. And don't forget to research also eBay's fees because the kind of products you end up choosing for your eBay store will determine what kind of fees you will attract from the platform. So it, it's what I'm trying to say here is your very first step is to, pro, is to perform a holistic product research it's not just a one dimension product research but multiple dimension product research and this is going to help you listen you're not going to have a success overnight you are going to go through some uh, periods of uh, trials and errors it's part of the deal it's part of the game it's part of uh, the homework you might lose some money you might actually waste energy you might be frustrated but i guarantee you over time things will get better so if you are a rookie seller out there and you are thinking about how to make money on ebay step number one perform uh, consistent I want you to perform a thorough product research and again it's not about quantity here it's not about quantity it's about quality instead of going for 20 items or 30 items I want you to start with with, with uh, one to five items and, and really master ma you want to master those products before moving on to the next one step number two I want you to improve your eBay profile. By the way, boss, welcome back to the channel. We really appreciate having you here. It's a, what's wonderful. We are speaking today about eBay seller, how to make money for beginners, okay? And you gotta improve your profile. What, what is that? Now, the best way to get started as an eBay seller who is very successful is to become a buyer first. This way, other users can see that you have an eBay history and recognize that you are trustworthy. Very important. Even if you just purchase a couple of small items for a few quick, uh, a few uh, dollars each, paying for the items promptly and taking the time to give feedback, po uh, positive if possible, can really build up your eBay presence and get you a good buyer rating. And another important step is, is choosing your username. Remember that whatever you choose will effectively be the name of your mini business. So you want to really get away from those kind of crazy uh, user usernames that are really uh, hard to pronounce and whatnot. Okay. And again, you, you don't want to choose a name that doesn't instill a huge amount of confidence in potential buyers. Okay. This is a business. We're not here to play. We're not here in, in Disney. If you want to play, we go to Dis Disney. Okay, so you want to do everything professionally from uh, having a company to also thinking about how you position yourself on the platform and make sure that uh, now people talk about choosing between the personal eBay store and a business account. I will say right off the bat, you want to choose a business account. This is a business. If you want to make money on eBay, you have to treat this as a business. Okay. When you create an, an eBay account, you can be an individual eBay seller or a business. Business accounts let you sell larger volumes and input business information like your, like your company name and branding. And that's what you want anyway. Okay, you can even consider a dropshipping eBay business. So basically, you're, you're thinking about saving money on inventory and increase your profit margins over, over time. So 
With the dropshipping model, you would work with the dropshipping company to manage your products and logistics. And you would simply list and market products online, okay? And also you have to think about increasing your eBay selling limits, which is why I want you to really uh, go from the beginning. I want you to choose the eBay business account, okay? And uh, with that, you, you, you have to think about branding your logo, you have to think about the kind of logo that you have, the kind of products you're listing, and everything has to be consistent from uh, the kind of products you're listing to the kind of target audience you are going after. I wanna to talk to you, step number three. Let's talk about promotion. I just wanna quickly remind our viewers that today's topic is eBay seller how to make money and really the, it's really important to think about promotion because promotion is not a one is not a one-time thing and we always say on this show people talk about well you know if you want to sell on eBay just do a organic ad just place organic ads or, or do a Facebook ads do some CPC ads here and there no what, I, what we know from it, our experience is that one outlet one form of ad alone does not bring in the revenue you have to constantly mix mix things up okay you have to constantly uh, diversify don't put all your eggs in the same basket you never know if that basket is broken or not okay so when we talk about promotion on eBay you have to think about cross promoting items so if you have social media accounts or uh, or you are active on any forums related to your niche use those to promote your products you want to include a link and photo a new post or send them directly to contacts you think might be interested so this is really important so when we also talk about promotion you also need to think about listing new products regularly because what, what's going to happen here is that the more products you list the more you can sell and ebay also tends to show more results from shops that are active so you want to continue listing and bringing in new products daily to build your shop and continue making money over time see consistency is really important stability is really important this is a business i, I want to quickly say it it's not a side gig if you really want to make if you want to make consistent six digits or seven digits in this in this industry as an ebay seller you have to be consistent and you have to treat this as a business okay they are important and uh, so you want to look out for eBay seller promotions. From time to time, what we have seen is, is that eBay will run promotional offers for private sellers. So you can keep an eye out, of, out for this and uh, you will likely be sent an email with a link to activate them. And it's really important to understand that when we talk about promoting, make sure that you also think about things like uh, email uh, newsletters. You also think about things like landing pages. Okay, it's about thinking about a diversity of uh, promotion, promotion strategies to make sure that in the end you are attracting the kind of traffic you need to your eBay store. This is going to help you in the long run because we're not here speaking about things in the short run only, but also things in the long run. So this is what it is. Boss, I want to talk to you now about pricing. The important thing here is that if you want to be an eBay seller, you want to make money consistently over time and you are a rookie, make sure that you charge the best price for your item. And don't even see, because everybody tells you, hey, listen, you want to compare and contrast what your rivals are charging. And based on that, you want to try to un undercut them or you want to charge lower or what? Forget about that. You know why? Because you don't want to engage in a race to the bottom with, uh, with your rivals because at the end of the day, you are going to lose eBay eBay is very competitive, don't get me wrong, but what I'm trying to say here is that you can actually differentiate yourself through other means, actually, um, instead of uh, the pricing, okay? What you want to do here is that you want to determine your break-even. If you have questions about the break-even, you can actually uh, just drop them in the in the comment section and we'll explain further. But the thing is that you want to actually uh, calculate how much your minimum profit should be and at what point the break-even is the point at which you are neither losing money or making money, okay? And then you have to think about what kind of margin do you want. Do you want 25%? Do you want 50%? Do you want 75%? Do you want 100%? Do you want anything in between? So that's what your pricing should focus on. Not necessarily trying to uh, match what the, what the next rival is, is, uh, is charging for the same item. Now, one thing you need to understand here is that when, when I'm talking about choosing... Uh, your own price remember there is a strategy you need to follow you want to start bids low to catch the attention of buyers okay now 
it might be really tempting to give your listings a high initial price but it wouldn't work in the long run. A low starting bid will catch the attention of more potential buyers and encourage a competitive bidding war as the item reaches its last day of bidding, okay? And this is really important. And never do shill bidding on eBay. This is something we have said on, on other shows. It really never works and it was really, really not good. So shield bidding, for those of you who have no idea, shield bidding is when you bid on an item with the intention of increasing its price search ranking or to make it look more desirable instead of instead of uh, you getting the bid because you actually want to buy it. This is illegal though, so neither you nor your friends or family members should ever bid on your, au on your auctions. There are systems in place to spot this and prevent it from happening on the site. So this is really, really important. Do never do this. I want to talk to you now about listing. Again, we are trying to find ways to, as an eBay seller, as an eBay rookie seller, how to make more money on the platform. And I just want to quickly remind you, boss, today's topic, we are speaking about the different hacks, the different strategies, the different tips and tricks that you can use as a rookie, as a beginner eBay seller to make money on the platform. So now I want to talk to you about listing. So listing can play an important role when, when we are speaking about your presence, your consistent your um your durable okay your durable presence on the platform your sustainable presence on the platform now you want to write convincing product descriptions okay and the thing is that don't try to uh i think we have said on on other shows that you want to start with keywords you want to make sure that your descriptions are they actually feature the right keywords you want to you want to rank for but also are very compelling and descriptive okay and uh, so when we talk about product descriptions please avoid spelling errors make the description concise informative and accurate highlighting the key features and selling points use popular ebay acronyms like uh, vgc very good condition brand new bn bnib brand new inbox or bnwt brand new with tags okay be honest about all issues and defects buyers can leave bad reviews and ask for their money back if the item is not in, in the condition you had you had actually described and uh, if relevant, mention how often the products have been used or why you are selling it. Your items will command a much higher price if you've got all the packaging, tags, and instruction books, okay? Invite potential buyers to contact you if they, if they have queries and uh, list all, your, all of your terms and conditions, including the payment situation, postage, and packing and refunds. So this is really important. You want to include keywords in uh, headlines and uh, descriptions. This is important. You want to tag good photos of the items you are selling, okay? A picture of, of the item you are selling as adds maximum credibility and an eBay user is much more likely to continue bidding if they are confident that they can see an accurate representation of what's on offer. And uh, if there are extra components to the item you are listing, include them in the photo. We were talking here about boxes, instruction manuals batteries and whatever else you have mentioned in the description this is really important okay remember though that you can upload 12 photos to a listing for free at one time i want to talk to you now about customers again we're having a conversation about how to uh, make money as an ebay rookie seller okay the thing here is you need to maintain contact with buyers on eBay. Once your sale has gone through, be sure to send a confirmation email to your buyer as soon as possible and invoice them for the full amount, including the postage charge. Okay, you should send them another email, another email once you have received their payment and when you have dispatched the item to them. So now I know that this sounds like a lot of emails, but buyers appreciate being kept in the loop. And if you are too quiet, there is a chance they'll get suspicious and report you. So make sure that you also dispatch the item as promptly as possible and be careful about being too ambitious with, the, with, with uh, your, your uh, handling time declaration. So if you estimate that you will take two days to dispatch the item but end up missing that self-imposed self deadline, you could receive a negative review and the buyer may ask eBay for a refund. And you don't want that. 
okay and so when you buy your when your customers receive your products do remember to give them some lovely feedback it's how the ebay world works and as the saying goes what goes around comes around it's really important to be in the customer mind in the customer's mind at all time so as long as your communication is not really too much in other words don't write long emails you know like when you contact them when when their items has been shipped you know one line or two lines that's sufficient that's enough you don't want to actually bombard them with a uh, whole, you know, whole paragraphs to sort of let them know, let them know what's really happening. So my point here is what, well, in terms of customer service, make sure that you are basically maintaining contact with buyers on eBay, and also you want to launch action during eBay's peak time, and you also want to avoid negative feedback. Like many other marketplaces uh, on the internet, eBay lets customers leave reviews to increase buyer confidence. Potential buyers are likely to look at your eBay history to make sure you sell quality products and deliver products quickly. Providing responsive and uh, honest service can help you garner positive reviews. So it's, it's, it's really extremely important to keep track of your customer correspondence, okay? And so launch also launch auction during eBay's peak time for example, if you're going to go for the maximum 10-day auction, which is always the best option because it increases the chance of getting more bids, you want to list it on a Thursday evening to increase your exposure to potential buyers. So it's really important to understand the timing here. Last but not the least, let's talk about shipping. So if you want to, uh, if you're an, a rookie eBay seller and you are trying to make money right off the bat, make sure that uh, you package items in a large envelope to save money. If the items you are selling can fit into envelopes, this can save you money on getting the goods to the winning bidder. As long as the envelopes with it's within the USPS uh, USPS's guidelines for a larger letter size, you can avoid the added cost of selling parcels. Okay, of course, not all items will fit in envelopes, but if do you have to think about what really works for you? Okay, and you always want to get a you want to get proof of postage when selling on eBay. So so send every item you sell by uh, by uh, let's say uh, by tracking you know tracking uh, processes to make sure that you are getting a certified a certified a certified mail or certified package with uh, the the receiver actually signing up signing up for it okay in other words you have to sign before receiving the delivery and one thing that's really important also is that you can send items with a handwritten note okay adding a personal touch to your deliveries makes a massive difference if you write a little note to say thank you to the buyer for their purchase, it gives them an insight into the person behind the sale, which will mean a lot more to them than, than uh, let's say, an anonymous eBay news username. If you're selling uh, things like vintage clothes, you could give a little hint into the backstory of the item in the note with details like when you first bought it, when it was from, where it was from, rather, and your reasons for selling it. Okay, and the thing, what, what, what I'm asking you here, I'm not asking you to actually spend a whole day writing um, letters or writing notes to uh, your eBay customers. What I'm saying here is that you just want to spend a few seconds, or if you have, let's say you have 30 products or whatever, it's something you have to do every single day, but yes, but it takes five minutes or 10 minutes maximum, okay? You want to actually restrict yourself to that five minutes or 10 minutes, and once you're done, you're done, okay? It's all about just, hey, making the whole thing personable, making the whole thing uh, just more just more human, if you will, okay? So shipping plays an important role if you want to make money as an as an ebay seller one thing i also want to say here is that when we talk about shipping you make sure that you always abide by the uh, the deadline that you yourself that you set for yourself if you say three days make sure the items is delivered in three days not four days not five days if you can't do it then just don't mention anything Okay, it's just a lot better to mention that you will uh, deliver the item in five days and uh, something happens and you deliver only in three days. That's a lot better than doing the other way around. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, we were talking about eBay seller, how to make money for beginners. We spoke about product research, the profile, the promotion, the pricing, the listing, the customers, and the shipping. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.